And according to the news, there will be total lockdown in Ebola on 25th February 2023, which is the day of the presidential and national assembly election if the presidency is not zoned to the southeast. Johannes Ndibo Worldwide on Friday stated this in a communique it issued in Enugu after its expanded meetings. The group also threatened another lockdown on the 11th of March 2023, which is the day for governorship and state houses of assembly elections, as the elections are not in the interest of Ndibos. The group urged the All Progressive Congress APC and the People's Democratic Party to jettison any plan to deny presidential aspirants from Southeast the candidacy for both parties as these may finally bring a sudden end to Nigeria as one united entity. The communique, which was the communique jointly signed by the group's national president Iboyaka O Iboyaka and acting secretary general. Comrade Ifa Yingweke, reading part, says there will be no access road to distribute electoral material in any polling unit in Igbo land. If part that be in Nigeria can't give Southeast presidency, Igbos will peacefully have no option than to leave this union called Nigeria. The group advised Nibo living in the north to immediately start taking their security very seriously, adding that if APC and PDP deny Southeast presidential aspirants, adequate arrangements should be made for their return home. It added that we cannot take it any longer as the struggle for the emancipation of our people starts now. If the North does Oh, sorry, I think it again. Say, if the North don't accept or believe in rotational presidency, there shouldn't be any reason for quarter system and federal character because federal character has been the policy of sharing formula. Wow, I mean, this um, write up or this meeting that they had that resulted to this decision, um, for me, it's coming late, but it's better late than never. You understand? We are looking at the next few weeks. Primaries will be taking place and already, based on um, a lot of uh, grapevines here and there, it seems the possibility of the South is uh, featuring as candidates for these two major political parties may not be there. And I will say again that that will be the height of injustice. Now, if you look at the current administration, I some few days ago, I just stumbled on a video by one of Nigerian renowned, you know, um, religious leader talking about Enenche, Paul Enenche, who is the owner of Dunamis Church. And he says something very stunning, uh, which had to do with the issue of unfairness and also the fact that some group of people or some region believe that power should be hanging on their shoulder for the rest of the existence of Nigeria, which is not fair enough and which will never allow the country to continue being a united nation. I'm telling you the truth. When I heard the man talk about it, I, I said, yes, what he has said is true because he didn't just throw it out there and just speak words. They were valid facts, provable facts, seeable facts that the man uh, display or, or told Nigerians, convince Nigerians with. Let me say it that way, convince Nigerians with. Now, if you look at um, from presidency down, you just realize that it seems as if there is nobody in the southern part who has capacity to occupy key position in the country. Uh, let's not just go too far, you know. Let's look at those who are heading some key, you know, position in Nigeria. I'm not going to migrate to corporations and all of that. Let's look at who is the AGF, Attorney General of the Federation. It's a northerner, you know, a Muslim northerner. Let's look at who the president is. The president is also a northerner, a Muslim northerner. Let's look at who the senior president is. It's also a northerner. My God. Everything head, head, head is not, 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 not. I mean, even we go down to IGP, is also a northerner. There had been no time that there was a swap. He said, oh, a southerner was brought in and all of that. Now, with all of that in mind, Nigerians, and don't tell me assistant, they say vice and all of that. 
no one will listen to you because eh, the assistant can only be active or the vice or the deputy can only be active if the head is not there. But as long as the head is there, the uh, uh, vice is very, very inactive. Giving it to Southeast won't change anything. It will only be a way of showing them that this union is worth staying in because we are going to ensure that everything is rotated and everybody will enjoy it. What does it take? Look at look at someone like Peter Obi, for God's sake. This man would talk and I'll say, ah, I wish I was the only one in existence in Nigeria. I would just say, take it and go. Because he's not just talking based on uh, history, you know, history of uh, other country administration and all of that. When he was on board as the president of Nigeria, he showed us, he, he you know, he, he's very, he, he, when he was in government, sorry, when he was in government, he proved to Nigerians that he has the capacity to do things that ordinary people cannot do. So a few days ago, I was listening to him talk about the issue of agriculture in the northern part of Nigeria. And uh, it was like, oh my God. I was like, oh my God. If this guy have this kind of, uh, can, can, can be allowed to hijack this kind of idea and play it out in Nigeria, then we are so sure that very soon no one will be looking at the oil again because everywhere will just be booming. Everywhere will be booming. You listen to some other people, they say it's their bed right to be president, you know. It's my bed right, I will, I will never die until I become president. You listen to other people, just stories here and there. Some people will say, I'll continue from where this man stop. I'll continue from... But this man is very precise. And throughout everything, the period of uh, his talking, you will never hear him talk about how incompetent this person is. How inco He will just play out his brain data and tell you, this is what I have in stock if I'm given opportunity to lead the country. And you'll just be marveling minute after minute because everything he says, they are practical solutions to put Nigeria in the warm up once again. Why can't we give these people opportunity to lead? Now, if Ohana um, Zendibo youth decides to do what they just say now, already there's going to be a strong collaboration between them and IPO. And uh, with that, it will congratulate it. And uh, if new election takes place in their own state, automatically, uh, they are no more part of Nigeria. And that will have to force referendum immediately because they are not willing to stay again. They are telling, saying, telling, to, telling Nigerians, hey, we are tired of being a part of a system that does not recognize our contribution, does not recognize our ethnic group, feels that it's only one set of people that have the capacity to rule the country. If the likes of, uh, you know, likes of uh, uh, Karuna State Governor, I, 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 even if people will say a lot of things about that man, that man is, you know, up there when it comes to the issue of, you know, rotational president. He said from, from inception, he would love it to go to the south. He would love it to go to this. And then you wonder how some persons will come out and say, vote for me, vote for you, say, what you don't do? Vote for you what? Somebody has been in the scene. There is no reasonable achievement. Everything is just in sync. There is no argument here. Okay, don't do it like that. Don't do it like that. You just go in and sing. And you vote for you because you, because what would you change? You think that it's a country like of like a country like Nigeria is a a, 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 a system where everybody will just have to know their yes sir, yes sir, yes sir over everything. We are looking for a place where people will uh, uh, disagree to agree. So that whatever decision that will be made, everybody will hit their heart and say it was, we were all part of the decision making. Let us wake up and give these people a chance. They are not asking for too much. They are not asking for too much. 1999, picking where they born since 1999 till date is already 21 years. By 2022, they, no, no, what's 20, sorry, 23 years. By 2000 and. Uh, 23, the child will be up to 24 years. Imagine depriving someone for that long. Haba, let's have a rethink. Even when it was done for the North, you saw how Nigeria said, hey, hey, it's for the North. Go to the different state. You see rotational governorship and all of that. Why is it different when it comes to presidency? Wow, that's where I like to leave it. And um, I, may, I may be a little bit emotional about this, but please, I feel that they deserve it.